Hi ladies, I'm Ali and welcome to Clear Skin and Wellbeing. So today I thought I would use the Garthoir and show you how I actually would use it. Now I did buy my Garthoir, my jade one, from Amazon. Looking at it on close inspection, to be honest, it's probably not the best quality, but it does do the job. Now they do them in jade and also rose quartz and of course they all have their own different properties. Now jade is meant to be for it smooths the mind apparently and releases negative thoughts which I suppose if you're using it on your face it's going to calm you down. So what I would do first is wash my hands, make sure I'm nice and clean. Also I'll wash my face so I'm all nice and clean there as well with no product on. Now, first of all, I've got a product here, which I've had, oh, it's probably six months now, and it's just a facial mist from a company called Make, and they're based in Somerset, and it's a lady called Mary Templey who um, makes these, and they just come in the most beautiful bottles. I, I have got another bottle here of something else, which is completely unrelated, but I mean, how beautiful are they? And just stunning. Anyway. Onto the garshwell. So I'm use this and just gonna a few little sprays on my face and also my neck. And then what I will do is I will just work it in slightly just to hydrate because you know everything gets slightly dry and just like our bodies inside, you know, when you feel thirsty, you still need hydration. Right. Now once I've done that. I will then, you don't need to use any oils on, you could just do it as you manually if you like. But I like to use a little bit of rosehip oil. I just love rosehip oil and vitamin A. And if I'm going to do something, I like to multitask and get two, two in one basically. Um, so I'm just going to use a couple of drops. So here we are. So the rose oil here. And I just put a couple of maybe two or three in my hand. You don't want too much, you don't want to be a complete grease. But, um, and then I'll just rub it in my hands so it's all nice and even. And then just pat it, also on the neck, behind. And I just love the smell. Now with the make, with the first one I used, the facial mist, I forgot to mention, it does contain um, uh, floral waters and I think it's rose geranium with lavender so lovely and calming and then you've got the rose hip oil right that's all on my face now so when I use the gash spa uh, gishwa, I don't like to you want to apply a little bit of pressure but not too much sort of light to medium but when I get to the eye area it would just be quite light so first of all I like to work from the neck work my way up. So first of all I get the neck and then on this part here I just go behind and just with a flat motion you don't want to be working up with anything rigid so I just work that way across and then just go up. Now you can do this three or four times on each each part and up there. It's sort of, it's just a sort of nice, easy going. It's almost being mindful of what you're doing, trying to calm down. I always hold here as well, just so you're keeping it slightly taut. You can get to those lymph nodes just there. If you see any pinkness, it's just the blood circulation, just sort of get into the surface of the skin. Now, once I've done that part, I'd also go to the back of the neck. Now I tend to suffer with headaches and migraines, so which always stems for me of this part of the neck. So if you do have anything like that, or you feel a bit heady, it's probably quite a good one and then just go slowly, flat, and up there. And that's just 
Feels really good. And again now. Then I would work on this side. Now I don't like to use anything, do anything in the middle from the larynx. I always think it's best to sort of leave that part sort of well alone. So then I would work back on here again. Again, I would start probably here using the flats part. Going up and around. I'll do it three times each side. And then just exactly that. And maybe a little right at the back of the neck. Right, now we've worked the neck, so I'm going to start work on this part here. Now, I would always hold so you're quite tall because you don't want to be just doing that um, so if you hold on to that it just helps hold the skin in place so you're not moving this all across make it slightly taut so I would use this part here where it goes in and I'd hold that there maybe on two fingers going flat in a slow mindful way Now you can do this two or three times a week. You could do it every evening if you wanted to. And I would work, you see this area here. I'd work up there, trying to get it into the line. So I'd hold on here. Three to four, you can see three to four, four times, and then I would go on to this part here. You could hold it's all in different ways, so you can hold it this way, all sorts of ways. That way, if you want to work into that, those little contours there, but we've done that part, so I'm now going to work on this. So I'm going to hold on to here, just work it across, smoothing out, always in an upward motion. She feels really nice and with the oil it does create a slip so not too much but just enough so you're not dragging and pulling the skin now when it comes to the eye area I would use this part here and just this is a bit where I'd hold here just a little bit along here and I wouldn't go in such a hard I'd just do a tiny bit across just very lightly. Now I suppose when you buy these jade rollers, I bought mine from Amazon, and they do come, I presume, as all like diamonds or anything else in different grades. And I presume I didn't pay very much for mine, and I, I, I would imagine you do get what you pay for. As I say, I can sort of see flaws in mine. I don't think it makes any difference. Now I get quite puffy eyed here. So what I could do, and what you could do, is you could place it first in some water and then dry it off, or have it in the fridge, and then we'll take it out of the fridge so it's nice and cold, and that would really help with that puffiness just there. You could always work on the eye first if you like, while it's cold, because once you've used it a few times, it starts to warm up. Now, let's cut on this side first, and then we'll finish off on there. So again, holding here, getting taut, not to go that way, using it flat that way. Should use my other hand really, it'd be easier, that's better. It sort of helps with lymphatic drainage, helps smooth the skin. And apart from that, it's quite calming, very calming. Let's say keep it flat 
and you can just see it just moving all that lymph, all those toxins, all to the side. And then hold here and try to work under this up, bit here from here under your cheek. Okay, yeah. Just do that three times. Applying light to medium pressure. And then flat here. Hold on to there. Again, making it taut. Not too, you don't want to push too much, but just a little bit. And just do that. Is it three to five times? You do it as many times as you like. Depends on what kind of rush you're in. You don't want to be rushing this too much. Right, then I'm just going to work on my eye area again using this but I'm not going to have it, I'm not going to apply too much pressure, just a little bit, so I'll just hold that a little bit there, not too much, just a little bit there, just do that, just very lightly, upward motion, past the crow's feet. Right, so we've done this area here, and we're just going to work on this area here now. So what I would do is, again, I would hold it here. I just want to work on this area. It fits in quite nicely by the nose. So I'd always hold the nose down so you can feel the tension. And just go slowly, keeping it flat over the third eye and up to the hairline. What I like about this tool, to be honest, is it doesn't cost very much money. Um, you know, you can buy them cheaper and you can get more expensive ones, but you can probably buy them for about £10 onwards. Okay, one more time. It was really lovely. <laughs> Keep doing this. Right, and then I'm going to work my way up. So I'd actually very gently hold on to the... if you wanted to you could hold on there but I think cause it too much just, just holding very lightly on the eyeball and just work my way right up to there up to where your hairline is again sweeping motions whoops okay And then I would take the other side. What you could do, if you did have it in water, you could have a bowl of water by the side and keep dipping it in if you wanted to keep it really cold. Um, I'm not, but you could do that. So actually, wrong arm. Hold on to that. Right, okay. This is a part where we could do with some lovely classical or very relaxing music in the background. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's quite nice to just have silence. Keeping it flat, light to medium, hardly any tension on the eyeball, just a tiny bit. Okay, up to that. Again, if you suffer with headaches or anything like that, or so you've got any tension in the head, it's such a good one. It's like a slight massage. You feel like, ah. Oh. Right, so there we go. So once I've done that, it feels good. Now, when I've done any sort of lymphatic drainage of any sort of massage or anything on my face, obviously it's, we've brought everything out there. So now we want to get to these ears and just give them, I always like to give them a bit of a wiggle. Push them there, get to those lymph nodes. So all those toxins are now all here. So we need to really be pushing those down. So then just move it down. down. This is one part you do go down the neck, but at the side. Go down there and then once you reach the decollete the sort of collarbone parts here just give it a few pumps because that will just release all those toxins from all this from the head just 
Oh, feel nice and refreshed and calm. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. Please subscribe and please like and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.